new train tweet i'm gonna uncage if i see one more post from a streamer crying about objectification when they have a patreon only fans porn hub instagram full of lewds private snapchat my free cams chatter bait <laughs> Shut the fuck up. You're objectifying yourself. Stop manipulating feminism for clout. My man knows a lot about different uh, porn sites for a guy who fucking mauls over. <laughs> for a guy who mauls over sex workers and objectification. He sure knows his. He sure knows his porn websites. <laughs> Ay, ay, ay. Wait. You don't love what is he? What, what is he gonna uncage you about? Isn't this literally what he uncages example. about l almost every week? I'm confused. <laughs> what's what's new? How is is this a recent post or? It says it's recent, but seems like seems like it's a repeat. Who knows? <laughs> okay, so Oof. I don't know how to I don't know how to go about this. I don't know how to like um I don't know how to parse through this conversation. I pay for SonicNet, a Cali native company in the Bay Area. You use AT&T's Infresh and it's cheaper. No, we don't have SonicNet. Um, so I think what a lot of people are missing, and I guess Hot Pocket said uh, saw a tweet saying women who do sexy content or more can't speak out about being objectified because they deserve it pretty much. Instead of arguing, I was reminded with the saying, never argue with stupid people. They will drag you down to their level and then beat you with experience. Mark Twain. So I think what, and uh, look, um, train talks about this all the time. And so this isn't for train. This is more so for the people who are at the, uh, people who look at this and go, Oh, that does actually seem pretty reasonable. Okay. So here, let me try to let me try to parse through this as as uh, politically in a, as politically correct way as possible. Okay. Objectification isn't when you sell your nudes and then someone jerks off to them. That is consensual. You are literally saying like, I'm putting this nude out there. Go ahead, do whatever you want with this. Like you're paying for it. Objectification isn't when I say something like. Wow, I watched Evelyn Clare's pornography last night and it was great. That's not objectification. Objectification is non-consensual. So the 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 problem there is it this and I don't think Train even realizes that he's saying this. But the problem here is, and I'm being as charitable as possible, the problem here is like saying that if you have a Patreon, you are going to be targeted by unwarranted attacks or you are going to be targeted by objectification and you deserve it for doing this sort of thing. So what is objectification in this sense? For example, let's say, um, let's say Evelyn Claire, right? I don't know why I keep using her, but let's say Evelyn Claire uh, does uh, great sex work. Like she does uh, pornographic materials or whatever. And then she is talking on her Instagram Right? She's talking on her Instagram to her audience, or she's talking on her Twitch to her audience about, I don't know, an issue that she knows a lot about. Let's say she knows a lot about baking, okay? Or let's say she is an astrophysicist and she's talking about physics uh, and, and astrophysicist uh, uh, stuff, whatever the fuck that is. And someone turns around and says like, shut the fuck up, you whore. What the fuck do you know about uh, baking? Or what the fuck do you know about uh, astrophysics? That would be unwarranted objectification. That would be harassment. Like, saying like, shut up, you're being hot. That would be unacceptable. And I think that Train would literally agree with me on this. So I don't even think, this is the real five head take here, is that I don't think Train realizes what he's saying when he says this. Okay? Objectification is non-consensual. It's bad.
This stuff is people doing it in a consensual manner. They are exchanging uh, nudes or lewds for money. It's consensual. Does that make sense? So what Train probably doesn't realize when he says this is that like what Train probably doesn't realize when he says this and I think he would literally agree with me on this is that this comes across as if you do Patreon or if you have OnlyFans like you're never allowed to complain about objectification, right? And I don't think this is a po this is a point of view that he even agrees with. That's the point that I'm making. Someone telling someone to sh shut the fuck up and slut shaming. Okay. Let's say that uh, someone, okay. Let's say they didn't say shut the fuck up. Let's say they said, oh my God, you have such nice tits. I love it. In, in a contextually inappropriate uh, circumstance. Shut up, pretty bimbo boy. What do you know about politics is a good example of objectification. True, yeah. Objecti objectification is a process of, uh, of which a person's self is devalued because of a part of their self or their entire self is turned into a commodity tool, etc. That part can be, that part can change, but commodity, generally speaking, is what occurs. Yeah. Objectification does not justify dehumanization. Yeah. Okay. Does that make sense, guys? Do you understand where I'm coming from? Like, someone saying, and, and this is like, I, I think that, I think the way that I just described this is so charitable that like, I don't, regardless of, of what people may think of me, uh, I don't think they're going to disagree with this point of view. Okay. Train, sexy shit, Hassan. Maybe he didn't mean sexy shit. No, well, maybe he went woke shit. Train. No, I didn't say he meant woke shit. I, this is this is very much, this is like as sexist as you can get. Like, this is definitely sexist. But if I were to ask Train, hey, is it okay for all of the sex workers that you have on stream is it okay if they were talking about something that is well within their realm of understanding that people were just like, oh my God, your titties, shut the fuck up. Or, oh my God, I just want to, I just want to suck on your titties, ma. Like devaluing them as a human, devaluing their opinion and only talking about uh, their, their like sexuality. That would be something that I don't think he would be on board with either. Okay. I think he would, to be honest. I don't think so. I don't think so. The man has a fuck ton of, of sex workers on his podcast, dude. Like. And he has terrible takes. He has way worse takes than this. But I'm fairly certain that if I were to ask him at face value, hey, train, do you think it's okay to shit on someone or just exclusively to talk about their exclusively to talk about their sex work and and uh in a in a place where like it's inappropriate contextually um and devalue their opinion as a consequence of that would you find that to be acceptable especially with all the friends that you have in the sex work in, uh, in the sex work community with all the friends that you have that literally do sex work and and come on your show I don't think he would. It's crazy the way Hassan defends his Twitch friends. Dude, Train fucking shits on me on a on the regular, dude. Like, what the fuck are you guys talking about? He literally fucking shits on me on the regular. What are you, why are you guys saying like Hassan defends his, uh, uh, Hassan defends his uh, friends on Twitch? He just, he shits on me all the time. What are you talking about?
it's like content on his end. Uh, the, the way that his community reacts to me. It's nowhere near as bad as other streamers and the way that they use it, utilize it for content. Ah, the normalization of selling yourself reviews and clicks of in milk so much that people are realizing that it's no longer about true feminism. It's about personal gain by manipulating the platform of feminism. So now what you see here is someone taking it to the next level. Why the fuck is he responding to Lauren Chen, dude? What the fuck is he doing? Four weeks ago today, I found out my dad died five days ago. I found that he committed suicide. I'm sexy and sexual and grief stricken and shrewd and zany. Uh, what? Uh, and, and imaginative and manipulative, reckless, ambitious and good. I have generalized anxiety disorder and chronic depression. I used to be addicted to Adderall and fantastic with words and I refuse to let the world force me into being any smaller than the messy hole of who I am just because some parts of me seem confusing or contradicting or inconvenient. They are. Humans are. Also, do you like my sweater? It was my father's and he committed suicide. Okay, this is a person who's like obviously unwell and going through a fucking weird ass point in their lives, okay? The person that Lauren Chen posted about. I fucking hate this shit so much, dude. Like, this shit is so fucking stupid. Like, this shit is so fucking stupid, dude. Like, when a person posts something like this, they're obviously... Like, they're obviously in a, in a weird fucking mental space. Okay? Like, no one would ever look at this and be like, well, that's actually what I believe. <laughs> as, a, as a liberal, this is what I believe, dude. This is actually pretty cool. This is what feminism is about. No, and that's precisely why they fucking reach for this shit. That's precisely why, like, actual propagandists, people like Lauren Chen, who make a living off of this shit, okay? Who are, who have been known to minimize the impact of white nationalism, for example, who have caped for racists over and over again. Um, they, they do this on purpose. They find like edge cases and then make it seem like this is precisely how liberals are or how they react. And it's so silly and falling for that shit hook, line and sinker because of your own personal biases is simp shit. Okay. You're just simping for fucking sexism at that point. 